All right, a little bit higher. No, no, a bit, a bit, okay, a bit. Yeah, no, a little bit, like hold it. The front, the front up. No, a little bit. No, okay, no, 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 hold it like the oh, front come up. come on, sweetie. This is so stupid. It's perfect, this is perfect clickbait. It's not gonna work. Good day folks, welcome back to my channel and as always, thank you so much for watching. Today I give you this super awesome semi-automatic six-shooter powerhouse PCP rifle, the AEA Bintac S45 Mini. We recently had a look at the Bintac AEA M50. Hundreds of thousands of you guys uh, watched that video and that was the pistol version with the side cocking lever on the right. Well, this one, my friends, as you see, is on a whole other level. This is the semi-automatic version on steroids. Anyway, we'll be having a good look at this gun, but first things first, a big thank you to Airgun Tactical uh, for once again providing this beauty of a gun. Uh, Airgun Tactical is an online retail store with great prices and awesome products most of which I review on this channel, so do go check them out. The S45 has two 250cc tanks, one in the front and one in the back. But the cool thing is that the rear tank is interchangeable. You just screw it on and off independently from whether it is full of air or not. So really all you gotta do is buy a couple of these and then you just can keep shooting all day. So when you air up your gun, your rear tank fills up first and then your front tank and the gauge here uh, measures both tanks combined. So on the rear tank buttstock here, you have this adjustable shoulder piece and on the front of the barrel, you have this muzzle brake. This thing comes in a whole variety of lengths. This is the most compact one with a nine inch barrel and an overall length of 27.5 inches, hence the name Mini. And it chambers in two calibers, 35 or 357 and 45 or 457. This one here is a 45 caliber. A big thank you to CB Life for sending over this motion activated red dot. I've used their products a lot and have always found them to be pretty solid and accurate. So the rifle comes with pretty much three warnings from the factory. The first one is to try not to adjust the power yourself by fiddling with screwdrivers and allen keys and whatnot. And secondly, they do recommend to only use certified ammo and we'll get to the ammo in just a minute. And finally, they suggest to never shoot under the dark green in your air gauge. Now, as we said many times, this is a semi-automatic rifle. So how do you load it? Well, you get your loaded magazine here. Uh, you pull back on the cocking lever 
here and you hold it. You hold it down in position while you insert your magazine in the breech, just like that. And then you let go of the cocking lever. Now, this magazine is actually empty at the moment, but had it been full, you would have the cocking lever all the way forward. And after that, the gun is ready to shoot. You never have to cock it after that. Um, it also has a safety lever right here. So the ammo for today's video was also kindly provided by Airgun Tactical. And today we'll be shooting these AGT 45 caliber, 165 grain, flat point, clear powder coated Airgun slugs. And without further ado, my friends, let's head back out to the Everglades and shoot this thing. As always, we'll start with the Tunnel of Destruction, so-called by me. Um, this is five stainless steel trays uh, put in a row to see how many uh, our gun will penetrate. As always, I will put the links down below so you know exactly what material they're made of. I promise you they are stainless steel, very, very resistant, small trays. All right, well, a few things, guys. You noticed that the uh, tunnel destruction kept moving back. Um, a lot of you always keep saying, why don't you fix it better? This thing is so heavy. It is so heavy that um, it usually doesn't move. So, uh, again, like it, the weight itself should be the one holding it, uh, fixing it on the table. So the fact that it, that it moved back so much shows you the power. Anyway, let's see how many of the plates we went through. Look at that, the first one, uh, every single pellet went through. Into the second one, look at this. <laughs> this is the second tray. I don't know if all six went through the third, but it looks like at least one, two, three, four, yeah, I think all six if you uh, count the holes, it pretty much looks like all six went through. And then they magically were stopped by the fourth uh, stainless steel tray. Um, heavily dented, but nothing went all the way across. And guys, the pellets are basically reusable. They've been scra scratched a little bit, scraped and scratched here and there. But no mushrooming, no flattening. These are absolutely reusable pellets after they went through almost four stainless steel trays. Pretty impressive. All right, folks, it is ballistic gel time, 10% ballistic gel time. As you know, I cook my own gel. This one did not come out so well, it's very bubbly. I didn't let it cook enough. Nevertheless, we will have a clear wound path to see in slow-mo, hopefully. Well, folks, this thing is a powerhouse. It sounds like a real firearm. It shoots like a real firearm. We just went through this 10% ballistic gel, like if it was butter. Um, not many air guns that I shoot on my 
channel do that. Um, I shot the first four shots from about 20 feet, so definitely not large distances. Uh, but when I saw that they went through like butter, I did move back, pretty much doubled my distance to about 40 feet. And uh, yet we went back, uh, we went through it uh, as well. So just amazing power. All right, folks, time to get some numbers. As always, we'll be measuring the speed of the pellets in feet per second, and we'll then calculate their joules power and foot pound energy power. As always, behind me, you will see four uh, two and a half gallon plastic water jugs. They've all been recycled with tap water uh, to see what kind of penetration we'll get. I have absolutely no doubt that this gun is going to go through all four gallons, but we put them there anyway. We always get company out here in the Everglades and it's just a staring contest so let's keep going. All right, let's start with some long range testing with our red gong over there. We'll start from 30 yards, which is about 90 feet. Missed. Got it. Three attempts, way too many. All right, 50 yards, about 150 feet. Woo, first shot. Beautiful, let's keep going. 80 yards. Oh, all right, folks, this is 80 yards. I got it at my last shot. So it took six shots uh, free-handed to hit an 80 yard target. I think I'm gonna stop here. Uh, if you've been watching my videos, 80 yard has been pretty much my limit, uh, especially when handheld. Uh, but uh, I am incredibly, incredibly impressed with this beast. Uh, I've been told that it is, it is indeed one of the most powerful air guns in the world. I'm kind of tired to say that because it's like almost every gun that I shoot nowadays is the most powerful. Uh, AEA makes absolute monsters. Uh, this one is one of them. It's one of the uh, first semi-autos of the family. Just a beast of a gun. Uh, guys, let me know what you thought of it. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much for clicking that like button if you did indeed like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And I'll see you guys at the next one.